Klingman, and we're at the Lincoln Electric Company Customer Training Lab. One of the uh, specialized applications for motorsports is tools. Um, we, we generally weld on chassis, we weld on radiators, we weld on suspension parts, we weld on most of the car. But sometimes we have to weld on the tools we're using. And uh, when it comes to tools, tools are much different material, base metal, than our uh, cars. Most tools like Allen wrenches, uh, combination wrenches, vice grips, are, are metals that are alloyed with a, a lot of carbon, a lot of chrome, a lot of cobalt, something to make them really hard, really strong. When it comes to welding on these tools, adapting them for some part of the car to reach some part of the car or reach some uh, a fastener to be able to tighten it or to crimp something. Or, a lot of times we modify tools for special applications. Uh, we go to a special filler rod and a special filler rod should probably be in everyone's uh, uh, filler rod box if they're TIG welding. Uh, you don't need a lot of it, you just need to have some of it. And the filler rod I'm talking about is uh, 312 stainless steel. 312 stainless steel has been a problem solver for years uh, in lots of maintenance departments, lots of maintenance uh, issues in industries. Uh, traditionally it's been stick rod. It's been stick electrode, uh, shielded metal arc welding electrode, and it's been coated and it's a 312 stainless wire, but it's generally in mystique. It's got either a, a bright colored coating on it or of some color, uh, some special name on it. It's kind of, and they won't tell you this 312 stainless wire, but it's a, it's a special maintenance wire for welding, or maintenance electro for welding files or welding things that you have a hard time welding without cracking. Well, 312 stainless and TIG welding, we use it in its bare form, and we call it 312 stainless. And 312 stainless does a great job on high alloy, high carbon, uh, strong materials, and resisting cracking. That's our, that's our nemesis when we start welding on tools. The material's so hard, so crack prone, that when we weld it, our weld cracks next to the weld in the base metal. So with 312 stainless, which has 30% chrome, 9% nickel in it, we get some great mechanical properties. And in the recipe, adding 30% chrome and 9% uh, nickel to our, our stainless to make it 312 stainless, we come up with a metallurgy that's called an austenite ferrite metallurgy. And it's really crack resistant. Uh, it's as crack resistant as we're gonna get with anything we can use on these tools that's readily available in industry. So 312 stainless is, uh, is uh, I can go over some application. Allen wrenches typically come in this shape or come in a holder. Uh, sometimes we have to put a T-handle on them for wing adjustments or for some type of a special quick tool. We'll cut them off we'll put a piece of uh, just mild steel across the top. And when we weld that joint together, 312 stainless steel does a great job. Won't, it won't be any problem on the mild steel side, but it'll allow us to, to stay on the uh, uh, alloy side. Wrenches, sometimes we have to cut them and angle them, re-weld them back together. Sometimes we have to extend them. Sometimes we have to do a lot of things. Uh, but anytime you cut a tool uh, that's a chrome vanadium or chrome, chrome moly type tool or some chrome cobalt alloy, the 312 stainless works real well. Uh, again, when we're crimping things, a lot of times we'll take a wrench and we'll put a piece of angle iron in the jaws across one way and across the other way so we can crimp things. A lot of times we'll, we'll use them for a tool to hold things. We'll uh, put a bracket on here, a piece of angle iron up here, and we'll, we'll clamp it onto a part and that angle will hold a part for us. So when we weld onto here, again, we'll be using a 312 stainless. So 312 stainless is the tool we use to weld it properly and have the greatest chance of success of it not cracking. And again, if there's any more questions, you can go to the LincolnElectric.com website and there's a wealth of information on there.